Alright guys, we're going to talk kind of loud. We are at the Trucks and Tacos. Blake that has sweet patina invited me over. That's been part of my truck at the group. Ain't this cool? Check it out. Awesome. Him and Jonathan, they've been uh, getting things set up, getting this whole shebang lined up. This is awesome. Jennifer is at the Coliseum. Newbridge at the Coliseum. I think Dan and Danny are on their way here. We all go meet back up. We're all just kind of scattered. Everybody had some different plans. My buddy Lanky is on camera. Me and him were at the Coliseum early, earlier, but um, Jonathan hollered at us like, hey guys, this is filling up quick. Y'all come on over. We got y'all spot saved and y'all check out this event. So we're gonna walk around, get y'all some footage, show y'all some awesome C10s and some F100s and whatever else is here. And let y'all see what this event is about. Because today is Thursday, which was first day for the Coliseum and the swap meet to open. And this is the first day for this to open. I'm not for sure if this is the first year, but uh, I know it goes on all day Thursday and all day Friday. So y'all hang out. We're going to get y'all some footage and we'll see y'all later. All right, guys, I want y'all to check out Matt's truck with Soulless Innovations. They build some cool products. They do a lot of chassis stuff. They do some bumper brackets to tuck them in, seat notches, and just a little bit of everything. We went to their shop last year. We weren't able to yesterday because we were doing filming over at the autocross with Newburn and Cotton. So anyway, Matt's actually here with me. Now I want him to explain what they do. So at Solus Innovations, we do uh, aluminum fuel tanks for the 61 to 72 F100s. Um, we do, we offer two different versions of those. We offer one where you don't have to remove that rear cross member, and then we offer one where you do remove the rear cross member. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, we're working on tanks for other year model F100s. Uh, we got one in the works for the 73 to 79 trucks, and we also have one in the works for the high boy trucks. Oh wow. Um, we do tucked rear bumper brackets for the 65 to 72 trucks as well as the 73 to 79 trucks. We do uh, replacement frame side cab mounts for 61 through 79 trucks. Um, and we do, we have front cab mounts for some of those. We have the rear cab mounts for some of the, cause some of those trucks are different. So we have rear cab mounts, all of them on our website. Um, and then we also do a bolt on front air ride section for, and a bolt on back half section for the 65 to 72 F100s. And then we just released our full ch air ride chassis for the 61 through 72 trucks. Okay. And um, so that's that's all we offer at the moment. We also do custom aluminum fuel tanks if you need one of those. And then we're always developing new products. So you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram at Solus Innovations. And then we also have a website, solusinnovations.com. Awesome. Well, let me ask you a few questions, man. Yeah, man. Um, those tanks that y'all build, uh -huh. are they specifically for carbureted or fuel injection options or so both? You actually have the option of both. We all, we sell the tank. You can run um, your factory mechanical fuel pump. There's a pickup tube option. And we have option where we sell it with a uh, in-tank in Aeromotive 340 pump. Or we also offer a dual 340 pump option. Or they're also set up to where you can run the factory uh coyote fuel pump or if you're running an ls you can run the factory ls fuel pump right because so i know a lot of the trucks are now getting popular with the coyote swaps right and then we do it that way because if you're running a if you decide you want to run the stock fuel pump you know it matches your motor for one and two if something were to go wrong you can run down to any auto parts store and pick exactly. up a fuel pump exactly do y'all do any in-house customer work or y'all just selling products right now so right now we just sell products uh we're we're a, we're a three person business. Um, I do all of our steel work. Martin does all of our design and aluminum work. And then Kayla does all of our office work. She handles our shipping and receiving and stuff. So right now it's kind of hard for us to take on a build for somebody, but we can, we can build pretty much any part anybody needs. Awesome. Well, look, brother, I appreciate you sitting here and talking with me and yes, explaining. Sir. Have a great day and I'll catch up with you later. All right, man. Sweet rides here, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all check out Blake's stuff. He uh, he has hooked me up with some awesome products. Some awesome products for my truck, some awesome products for Jennifer's 55. 
What's Blake, up, Wesley King? How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. Good to see you. Man, I want you to tell our viewers all the cool products that y'all sell here at Sweet Patina. Man, Sweet Patina's got a lot of different things. We got everything from the merch, the hats. Then we go all the way over to our chemicals. We got everything from uh, car cleaning and detailing products. We got rust preventative coatings for your chassis. We got N1 texture coatings for your floor pans, your bed liners, all the way to our most popular product, which is our old base patina sauce. Right. Um, if you need something more permanent, we do sell matte and satin black. It's a 2K urethane, and we sell matte and gloss clear coats too. So basically anything you need, if you're building a truck that's patina or a car that's patina, or you're wanting to go with full blown paint, we can help you out at sweetpatina.com. And what, probably the past seven, eight years, dude, the patina stuff has just blew up. I mean, yeah, I, a lot of the days of the 25 30 grand paint jobs a lot of people have went toward the patina and left them original paint in the roughness and they've come to you to get the secret sauce to put that sheen on there That's it. and That's it. dude if you see something down here that has that sauce on it nine times out of ten it's got your sticker in the back glass yeah, it's got that sheen to it it's that's not, right patina sauce is not a permanent clear coat that seemed to be what everybody was wanting when we went around the entire country we drove to all the lower 48 states in our 57 chevy Everybody wanted to know how to preserve these patina trucks. They wanted to keep them a survivor, keep the worn and weathered look. So we hit them with the sauce and uh, we sell it all over the world basically now. We got a lot of international dealers. Uh, we're just proud to be a part of the community and get back to the community and uh, just having a good time doing it. Awesome, dude. Well, man, you hooked me up. I can't wait to get back home to try this stuff on Jennifer's four door 55. Oh, the 55 is looking sweet. Yes, it is. It so, a is. Lot of, so another thing, you know, a lot of people don't realize we're from a family of painters. So, my papa had a shop. My daddy's been a painter. He's 70 now and he's still painting. So, uh, like I said, man, if y'all ever have any questions, when y'all see us out at these shows or online, y'all can come hit us up. We got about 125 years of combined paint experience on our team. So, we can help you with painted products or let you know what products are going to be good for a patina finish so uh that's awesome glad dude. you came by man that's awesome Great to see that 55 you got the you got the 70 looking really good appreciate it hey when i got here jonathan threw me a bottle of that and he said hey you hit it with this right here and i was on the roof and i had found spots where i had left wax and mixed <laughs> and dude where i wipe was shinier than what i waxed and i was like yep. check this yep. out that's, a, that's with our uh happy ending right. detail spray that's right. a great detail spray it's a quick detailer so yeah, we got all of that stuff too for uh, the gloss finishes, the matte finishes, or the patina finishes. We got a great detailer. It's called Happy Ending Detail Spray. Awesome. So all good. these old classics need a good old happy ending. You know, give them a little rub down. Well, so far I'm in love. Well, man, stuff, man, thank you for hooking me up. I appreciate yeah. it so much, and we'll get back to you later. We're gonna go check out this show. All right, y'all have a good time. Y'all too.
when I come across this sweet rig right here, y'all know that I love ramp trucks. I got my wrecker, I got my F100s, and but this thing right here, y'all check this girl out. This is so cool. God almighty. It's got a sleeper. I mean, look at it. This thing's awesome. Check that out. Air ride seats. Got his rear camera. Got his fan back here blowing. Wow. That is some kind of cool, y'all. Some kind of cool. And this gentleman right here tells me that he owns it. What's your name, sir? Philip Lott. I'm Wesley Keys, Mr. Philip. Nice to meet you. I mean, I'm from Columbia, Mississippi. Where are you from? Why well, not Mississippi? And this is your bad rig. It is. Please tell me the story on this girl. Well, the truck started out an old fire truck. Okay. And I bought the truck out of Illinois. I wanted to make a ramp truck, but I wanted these axles. I wanted two axles in the rear, so I found a log truck and I made the Took the frame with tandem axle, Dayton wheels, and air brakes. Okay. So I put the cab on the frame. I found a sleeper in Nebraska. Okay. I was on a road trip out there and I found a sleeper out there. The bed I found in Georgia. So I had to modify the bed. Yes, sir. The pickup I've had for a couple of years. I was down here last year in it by itself. Okay, while you but, were building this? While I was working on this, right. Okay. But I wanted to come down this year in this with that truck on it. Two weeks ago, the engine blew up in it. Oh, no. So I had to order a new engine, put it in, had three weeks to put it in, get it running. I just got it running last Monday morning. What engine's in it? 6V53 Series Detroit. Oh, wow. I bet that may be a talk. It's a screamer. What transmission are you running? Uh, seven speed. Okay. So yeah. it, it'll it cruise on the interstate with no problem? Uh, about 60 mile an hour, about top speed. Maybe okay. Get, maybe get 65. Okay. But it's so loud, you can't hear it. <laughs> so I had, I had to hide mufflers in that chrome pipe. And you stack there, you hit like some mufflers, kind of like a, basically use it for a mouth. Right. Okay. But it just, it's too loud to drive. But it's my dream to, to build this thing from scratch. Well, don't they call the Detroit the Screaming Demon? They did it just about. And they leak oil. <laughs> yes. yes they're sir. not very environmentally friendly. Well, I heard that uh, if they're not leaking oil, then they're not happy. So If they're not leaking oil, they don't have any oil in them. Right, right. Uh, I had a guy tell me one time, you take a picture of one hanging on the wall, and the picture will leak oil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> I ain't never heard that one, but that's a good one right there. So what it's, model is the cab? It's a 1955 GMC. Okay. And what did the sleeper come off of? Uh, Kenworth. Okay. Kenworth out of Scotch Bluff, Nebraska. Okay. I was on a road trip up there, and I located it. Just brought it off. Pick up up off with no bed on it. I had to buy the bed piece by piece. Yes, sir. Together. Well, you've done an excellent job putting this rig together. Well, thank you. And it's my hobby. I just I, I don't do it for a living. Yes, sir. I do it just for my own stuff and my own enjoyment. Yes, sir. I I I totally get it, and I understand. Uh, coming down here, two hundred and fifty, roughly two hundred and fifty miles. I had to stop two or three times, put the air compressor belt back on. It kept coming off. Oh no. Well, when it loses air, at some point it'll lock up in the middle of the road. Yes, right. So I had to stop and put that belt back on. Oh, no. I think three times. Wow. But I called my wife back home. She was coming down. I said, go by the parts store, get me another belt, bring it down here. Right. So she did. So I got an extra belt. Awesome. Awesome. So, y'all been down all week? We've been all week. How many years y'all been coming? Ah, uh, 10 or 12. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So y'all love it too. I love it. I love it. I just and this friend of ours come down from Boonville, Mississippi. Okay. He's an old Navy veteran. And well, thank you for your service, sir. 
He, he came down this year. This is his first year down. He's got a Mustang. He's probably going to bring it next year. All right. Well, what year model Mustang you got? 68. Pass back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> now, the, the people that watch my channel, they know that I'm a Mustang guy. Oh, okay. I got a 65 Fastback, and I got a 69 Fastback, which they're both what I call in the hospital at the shop at the house right now. Nice. But, nice uh... Too. My little red F100 is sitting up there in front of the sweet patina booth. But man, we, uh, where I'm from, we love our Mustangs. Oh, wow. Y'all, check out this man's Mustang. Is that a bullet? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that is a very, very beautiful car. I haven't seen one here. Every now and then, I've been coming since around 1999. Every now and then you might see one down here, but I don't see very, very many bullets. But, well guys, hey, thank y'all for letting me interview y'all and talk with y'all. It was great meeting y'all and I hope y'all have a good rest of your week and everything goes good. No more belt issues, I hope for you. Yes, no breakdowns, no wrecks. Every morning when I step out and we start loading up and checking fluids, I'm saying a prayer. I make everybody grab hands and we're like, y'all, no wrecks, no breakdowns. And we started a new one, no food poison. Cause one year my wife got food poison and I had to take her to the ER. <laughs> Anything like no, this you don't want that. Together, it's simply to break down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm in the process of either building me a ramp truck. I got me a 12 valve Cummins okay. or I'm going to put it in my 70 model record that I bought out of Nevada. And I want to haul one of my Mustangs. So. Be, that'd be cool. Yes, sir. What I got. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because what you got, I love stuff like this. I gravitate towards stuff like this, but this is awesome. It is a cool, cool rig. Thank y'all so much. Well, walking through the crowd, trying to find me something to eat, and who do I see standing in line? My old buddy Miko. Hey, brother, how you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Doing great, man. How's the truck doing? My truck is doing excellent, man. Doing excellent, excellent. How long have you been down? I've been down since Tuesday. My good friends, Nick Holyfield and Shannon, they are from Blackjack Customs. Yeah. It's supportive and man, I tell you, the truck is excellent. That's awesome, dude. Excellent. Hot rods and good friends means a lot. That means 
every day. I wouldn't take fifty thousand dollars for that trip. To some, it looks like it may only cost ten, but even less. But just the feel of truck with these two people, man, it was excellent. It's good. Well, get that time back. well, we're going to have to get us something to eat. It's 2 o'clock, y'all. I have not ate all day. I'm a diabetic, about to pass out. But anyway, let's grab something to eat. And later on, let's go uh, film your truck. Okay. I want to see it. All right, man. Awesome. We'll be back, guys. All right, guys. Y'all look what I got. These are loaded fries. Brisket, cheese, barbecue sauce. They can do whatever. Y'all see that? Don't that look so good? This man right here just hooked me up. 1776 Barbecue. I'm Charles Dabbs. Check me out. Facebook, guys. Thank you very much. God bless. Y'all look at all this. They got it going on. Man, wow. It smells so good. This is our number one seller, guys. It's our brisket grilled cheese. You're going to see it made fresh right here, right now. Let's go. Brisket grilled cheese. Five right? cheese blend. All y'all all guys at home watching this, y'all going to be starving to death. Pecan smoke, low and slow. USDA certified prime brisket. Only the best sauce. Here we go. And there it is. The number one seller here at 1776. Check us out. Wow, guys. Hey, y'all got to come to Trucks and Tacos. Man, this is awesome. Thank y'all. Jennifer just got here from the swap meet. I had to leave the swap meet early. To come over here and get set up at the Sweet Potato booth. I wanted to show y'all some more trucks. Guys, these things are gorgeous. I mean, there's all types of C10s. Today is the C10 today. There is some F100s here, but tomorrow is F100s. If y'all ever get, ever get down to cruising the coast, it's called Trucks and Tacos. It's a very cool event. I think this is the first year. It could be the second year, but I'm not for sure. But I have seen some fine rides. Scan down this. Let's walk down this, baby doll, and show them what's all here. Let's show them what's on this street. I done an interview with a gentleman early. He's got this big old ramp truck with a sleeper on it off of Kenworth, a Detroit engine. This guy's a little Chevy truck on the ramp. Very cool rig. You'll have to walk around here and see it. The black truck's gorgeous, 58, 59. Man, it's gorgeous. What do you always say? If it's black, it's fine? Yeah, it don't matter what it is. If it's painted black, it's beautiful. You know I love 454 SS trucks. Mm -hmm. And I love all C10s. It don't matter. Step side, fleet side, long bed, short bed. Yeah. Square bodies, 67 to 72s. I love them all. That gold one is gorgeous. Yeah, that is pretty. Got a six under in it. Check that out. Really? Guess who I run into earlier? Who? I done an interview with him. Who? Miko. Oh, I saw him at the, at the uh, Coliseum. He told me that. I was supposed to find this truck. Pretty square body coming out right here. Yeah, it is. So, we're walking around, talking, chatting with people. I seen this man sitting here with his guitar, and I asked him, to play me his most requested song. What do y'all think it's gonna be? Hit it. I've been sitting on here, playing all day, overtime hours, full shit face, so I can sit right here and waste my life away. Climbing back home and drink my troubles away. It's a damn What this Good job. <laughs> Thank you.
This K5 is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I love that color. It is pretty. Let's get a shot of the interior. Okay. That's beautiful, Beth. That's pretty. Very, very pretty. Seats are gorgeous. Just makes you want to cruise the beach, don't it? It does. <laughs> They're in our hotel with us, Mel and Rob. Remember them? Oh, yeah. They're paying off the door. Yeah. That's right. Hi. Did I stay at Margaritaville? No. Sir. We okay. think that truck is. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are y'all seeing at Margaritaville? Yeah. yeah. Oh, We've seen it in the parking garage. Yep. Yeah. See, I wish I could find something about the shape of. See, that's this. the kind of sheen I want on the 55. Right. Well, Blake has hooked this up. So. Okay. Well, I really don't want it shiny, but right. The shiny shows more stuff. Well, I want to find something like this and put our logo on the door. Yeah. And it give Mama something to drive. I like that. Cause I don't want to paint nothing over my original paint on my old Ford. Mm -mm. Very pretty too. Oh, yeah, it is. They don't drive real good like that lifted, do they, babe, when they're four wheel drive? Yeah. Not for me, they don't. Uh, we had a blazer years ago, y'all, that we redone. I was trying to keep it between the ditches. <laughs> I lifted it and put some nice sized tires and wheels on it. Jennifer hated driving. Oh, she hated it. Oh, I was so nervous. I like that black and white one too. Yeah. All right, how about y'all? All right. I lost my. Uh, yeah, that came by. Mm -hmm. I started parking here, but I didn't know if I could or not. There's the fox body in here, bro. I, yeah, but I didn't know if it was. You had to be trucks or not. There's a Chevelle I done the interview on the other night. Sure is, isn't it? Tell everybody that this is what you really wanted before we got Sophia. It is true. I wanted a Cadillac or a Lincoln that was this long. Oh, it's beautiful. Suicide rear door. So pretty. Uh, I'll take that Chevy too. Right okay, well, I want this right here then. Ooh, look at that one up there. Oh, that's even better. Let's go look at that one. I love those big white wheels on that car. The Galaxy. Name Rose, too. It sure is. Look at there. Okay, check out those little vent visors with engraving on. How cute. Can you see it in the roof? Mm, I can now, yes. If you put your coasters on, you can see it takes the glare off of it. I see now, yeah. Certain light hits it. I see a truck down here I want to go look at. Okay. I've seen him riding. So, <clears throat> you know I want to blow a real bad. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of something to put it on. Do I want to do it on the 55? I build something totally different to put it on. I might find me. That's pretty. Another. I might find me another slick side truck. Like this black one right here. 
put me a blower on. Okay. That thing's cool. And yeah. he rides around with it pretty doggone low, too. Really? Yeah. You're afraid I'd hang it on something. But from what Jennifer is showing y'all and what I've shown y'all, there's way more trucks here than that. I mean, there is a ton of trucks. If we have time tomorrow, I would love to come back and see how many F-100s is here. But I know tomorrow is Ocean Springs Day. Oh, yeah. The other side of the coast. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. This is going to wrap us up for trucks and tacos. We got to go get ready, go meet up. I think we're cooking out tonight. If we don't do it tonight, we'll do it tomorrow night. But we're on the opposite end of where we're staying at. So we're going to round up the gang, see what everybody's up to, and we're going to make our way back to Margaritaville and hang out and chill out there tonight. So this is probably going to be the end of this video. I think we have so much footage, I don't know how much we have. No, this one here will probably be a video on its own. So for everybody that's watching and hanging out, thank you all. We appreciate it so much. We got plenty of footage to come and we will catch y'all on the next one. And hey, the subscribers and views is steadily going up. We love it. Yes, we appreciate thank it you so, much. so much, so much. Dan and Danny just rolled in. So let's go holler at them and see what everybody's plans are.